Now, you know that we have been telling you about the dramatic spike in car thefts. Some of you know firsthand in the latest string now hitting the Bolton Hill neighborhood. There were four incidents over the weekend, and some of them thieves stole cash, and others they took off with the victim's car. And hey, WJZ on your corner, in your corner tonight, as Jessica Albert is live after speaking to one of the victims. Jessica. Vic, uh, Rick and Nikki, normally we do not identify crime victims, but this victim told us that he wanted to share his story to make sure that his neighbors know what is happening in their neighborhood. He also wanted you to see his injuries. We want to warn you that some of the images that you are about to see may be difficult to watch. Baltimore's Bolton Hill neighborhood rattled after four separate attacks in less than 24 hours. One of the victims, Tom Maloney Harmon, speaking with WJZ by phone. My approach to situational awareness is different than it was before. He says around 6 a.m. Sunday, he was loading his car on West Lafayette Street when a car pulled up beside him. The driver spoke to him, and then several suspects got out. All four doors, it was like a sedan. All four doors popped open, and all of a sudden, People are running at me. And that's when it dawned on me what was going on. He tried to run away, but the suspects chased him and he tripped. He says one of them kicked him in the head, giving him a black eye. And then. She told one of the others, shoot him in the head. Sorry. <laughs> It's hard to talk about that. I waited and the gunshot never came. Maloney Harmon says he pretended like he was unconscious and then the suspects fled after stealing cash. Three similar attacks happened that day, all involving several suspects. One on the 1900 block of Utah Place at 3.18 p.m. and then another less than 10 minutes later, a half a mile away in the 1700 block of Park Avenue. The fourth happened just after midnight on West Lafayette, a block away from where Maloney Tony Harmon's attack happened. In the last two incidents, the victims' cars were stolen. Neighbors tell WJZ they want more police patrols. It's trying to figure out what the optimal balance is uh, between amped up sense of discipline or punishment and just an amped up sense of, of presence. And I think most of us feel very strongly about having more presence. And police have not said whether these incidents are connected, and they say they have not made any arrests yet. According to Baltimore City Councilman Eric Costello, there are ramped up police patrols in the Bolton Hill neighborhood going on right now. Reporting live in Baltimore, Jessica Albert for WJZ.